What's going on guys, it's Michael here with a really quick video on how to install iLife 11. First of all, I have the disc in my hand, we're going to install it. And you'll see the disc icon pop up in the desktop. We'll just wait a second. Okay, there we go. The install CD pops up and you're prompted with two choices. A read before you install iLife. Now, when you click that, it's going to be a PDF with a lot of information, including what's new in iLife 11, the requirements, and copyright. So, I've already installed iLife and as you can tell, probably, my last two videos were edited with iMovie 11. Now, what you're going to do is press iLife, install iLife, I mean. And you're going to be pop up with the iLife 11 installer. This is the introduction. You can read that yourself. Read me. And this is basically everything that was in the read before you install iLife. So you can either read it here or in the PDF. Continue. License. This is the license agreement from Apple. And here's the install. Um, you have to agree the software license agreement and choose where you want to install it. Of course, you want to install it on your Macintosh hard drive, the internal hard drive of your computer. Now, I've already installed it, so once you press continue, it'll take around, you know, for my computer on a Core 2 Duo processor. Um, it's probably going to take uh, 15 minutes. Um, so on a faster machine, it'll take less time. That's it, guys. This was a very quick video on how to install iLife 11. I'll be coming up with a video including some hands-on time with each of the new versions of the applications, iPhoto, iMovie, and GarageBand. Thanks, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and... If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Thanks. See you in the next video. In the package. So, got a rip right here.